What's up, everybody? Welcome to Mom's Dinner. My name is Susie Weinrich. Here, we're helping you feel successful at dinner time with super simple recipes. So if that sounds good to you, we would love to have you subscribe to the channel. You can come back here every Tuesday for a new recipe video, something you can definitely get on the table. So today we're gonna do things a little bit different. We're actually gonna do a little snack or little munchy recipe. We're making seasoned oyster crackers. This is a super old fashioned recipe that I think has been around forever. I would guess that it's more of a Midwestern recipe, but some of the comments that I have are that people love to have these in their house during the holidays, just kind of like a Chex mix, it's similar or that they have them in their house when they have company so people can just have little munchy snacks, little crunchy crunchy to munch on. Or I've even had people comment that they take these out on their boat when they have a boating day and that everybody loves them. So stick around today. We're gonna make seasoned oyster crackers to have as a little snack. All right, we're gonna start by making that seasoning mixture. So you start with about three quarters cup of oil. You just want a non-flavored cooking oil, like vegetable oil, canola oil, or olive oil, or a mixture will work great. Then you want a one ounce package of ranch dressing mix. So this is just a ranch seasoning mix. I like the Hidden Valley brand the very best. I think it has the most consistent flavor that people are used to. Then you're gonna add in two teaspoons of dried dill weed, one and a half teaspoons of celery salt, and then two teaspoons of garlic powder. Then you wanna go ahead and just whisk all of that together so there's no clumps, everything is smooth and mixed together. Now you're gonna add in the oyster crackers. You want two packages of oyster crackers and they should come in nine ounce packages. So you just need two of those, no brand specific. You can see I just got the store brand here and add those right into that oil seasoned mixture. Then you're gonna to wanna to take a spoon or a spatula and give it a really good stir. You wanna make sure that all of that seasoning and all of that oil coats all of the crackers. So make sure you're scraping from the bottom up. Then grab your largest rimmed baking sheet, pour all of that out onto the baking sheet and you're gonna to want to kind of zhuzh this all so that it's in one flat layer. Then you're gonna take this and put it in a 250 degree oven for about 15 minutes. And halfway through the baking process, I usually like to take a spatula or something and kind of flip the crackers while they're baking so they all get nice and golden. You'll be able to hear it here. That's it, they're all done. So easy, so simple, come together like that. And it's a fun, unique snack cracker that you can have hanging around your kitchen that people can snack on. I'm gonna, oh. Mm -hmm. mm. So, so good. The ranch and the dill are like right up front. And then the celery salt just kind of balances everything out. These are so good. <laughs> They'll be gone in a flash in your kitchen. So I'm gonna let these cool down for just a little bit longer and then I'll put them in airtight containers. Of course, they're best day of or you know next day or the next day, but they should be good in your kitchen for five to seven days. Keep them in that airtight container and let people just scoop out a little bit and snack on it whenever they want. So I hope that you give these a try in your kitchen and they help you feel like a success at snack time. We'll see you next week.